Hi, this is Dave from Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, and uh, I have another trash find right here in this case. And uh, we're going to see what's in it. Be back in 10 seconds. Okay, I'll give you the backstory on this, guys. So, anyway, uh, we're doing an estate sale. Uh, we have basically another day of it left. And so anyway, we're going through these outbuildings and this one outbuilding that we're going through was just loaded with just spider webs, all kinds of rat poop. I mean, it was a mess. And so everything you take out, you had to dump all the stuff out and half the stuff that we took out of there, we just threw it in the dumpster. Um, so we're digging and then I'm getting to some shelving and then I get in another box and I found this in the midst of a lot of rat stuff that was on top of it, but this was actually covered up. And so I opened it up and I was shocked to find this um, little uh, laptop in it. So anyway, so we're gonna open it up here. And uh, it comes in a, it's in a really nice uh, aluminum case here. I'm gonna open it up here. And you can already see probably what it is, but this is a, and like I said, I'm not a PC guy, guys. I'm, I'm a Mac guy, but you know, these things interest me. Anyway, so this here is an old laptop, this thing, very, very heavy. And this is called a twin head. And uh, it's, uh, believe it or not, I did power it up, it does work. But we'll kind of go through some things here. So anyway, this is this is a, a Slim Note 486E, and here's the manual for it, and uh, very interesting. And this is uh, dated October of 1993, so it gives you some idea of the age of it. But yeah, the manual's in fantastic shape here. Um, it's in uh, two different languages, but it tells you about the uh, the features on it. It's, um, it's got the built-in trackball. I guess that was a, a option back in the day. <clears throat> a lot of these don't, don't have it. Um, and then has the battery. And believe it or not, guys, that battery still works in this thing. Unbelievable. And uh, you get the brightness control on it and stuff. Shows you how to take the battery in and out. Tells you about the PCMCIA slot. Uh, right there. Uh, tells you all about the little bit of an indicator panels when you have it opened up and you have it powered up. But yeah, it's a very, very, uh, you know, back in the day, these are the kind of manuals you got. And uh, yeah, it's uh, a really surprised so we'll go and smirky's very interested here and it came with a couple floppy disk uh, let's see fax works and quick link 2 right there and uh, I haven't tried these yet obviously like I said I was just surprised the thing even powered up and then here's a like some type of serial port here. I'm not sure. I'll have to look in the book here and see exactly what this is. Probably for a printer. I'll just slide that over there. Uh, MS-DOS 6.2. That's still shrink wrapped. CompuServe. There's a uh, more disc in here, and uh, let's see the cats are uh, helping me here. So, anyway. Let's see what we got here. So we have uh, CompuServe um, about the international twin head, the company, 
customer service. This is probably the, uh, it was like the bill of sale on it. I'm not gonna show that on here. And uh, then we have another book. It's the quick link to, it's the fax and telecommunications, Windows and DOS. And a very nicely printed book of the day. Um, very, it gives you a lot of detailed information on it there. All the different screenshots on it. And let's see. This is a, uh, there's a card in it already, so this is probably just the uh, slot to take up the space when you don't have an actual card in it. And I think, I think that is everything in here. So this is the power brick here. This is the computer. And we'll, we'll turn it on here in a minute. And uh, then underneath here is actually, um, this is the back door for the computer here. So right here, that's the back door. And there's a little, I don't know if you can see them there, get my finger in here. There's these little clips right here. Um, there's three of them and, <clears throat> excuse me, and the part of them are, are, looks like part of them are broken off there. The tops are still there, but there's a little part that kind of hooks over, and that's what holds us on here. But this is what, what it looks like when it's on there. And then you can open this up, open this little door up here, right there. Hide that little port there, but it looks pretty nice when it's all closed up. So yeah, so, um, what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna open this up. Here. Let me uh, move the case here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the uh, power brick out of it here. And uh, it's got an indicator light on it when the power's on, and then the amber light is when the battery's actually getting power and charging. So what we're gonna do, yes, Smirk, oh, Smirky's gonna check it out there. Yes, yeah, Smirk, well, I had to put all this stuff back in there, honey. Yep, yeah, we have to put this stuff back in there, okay? So, yeah, she's very impressed with it here. So, I'll be back in a second here. Power adapter plugged into it, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna power this little laptop off, and like I said, there's a few little scuffs on the screen but I haven't really cleaned it so hopefully a lot of that cleans off but I mean uh, gosh this thing is old so we'll uh, see how it works here so we're going to hit the power button there and you can hear the hard drive spinning up on it and it's going through the uh, system check there it tells you it's a 486DX processor at 33 megahertz 640k base memory and it's going through all the self-diagnostics there and so let's type in Windows we're booting up the Windows 3.1 And uh, you see the background there, coming up there. Oops, and so let's uh, zoom in on it here. And uh, let's look at the screen here. So you can see it, uh, the screen looks pretty good there. There's a contrast on it here. Let's see, let me get on which side it's on. I guess it's on the other side here, let me see here. Well, maybe I, maybe that isn't it. Okay, let me back up here. Okay, let's see. So here's the contrast. We can move this little slider here. There we go. And uh, then we have the brightness here. Right there. Oops. And then we'll slide it this way. And like I said, you can do the, the contrast here. 
fear. I guess right about there looks pretty good there. So, and uh, yeah, it's uh, got a pretty little good little screen here, and you can see the little trackball works here. And uh, we can open up the solitaire game here. Never was very good at either. You're playing against a robot here. Yeah, so you see it does work. Um, let's uh, get out of the game here. And then we also have a uh, minesweeper here too. There we go. And uh, there's all, uh, all kinds of application. There's a uh, MS-DOS editor. There's email, online manual. You get little mini tabs here. And you get the main menu, control panel, Windows setup, clipboard viewer. Then you get lots of accessories down here. You get right. And you can hear the hard drive stops because it does that after a while. And then when you click on an application, then it'll start up again. So you hear it there. We'll uh, exit that. But yeah, it uh, seems to work pretty good here. Um, I did set the clock on it. I don't think it's uh, correct here. Let's see. Well, it's, it's a day behind here. Today's the 17th. But it's the right time, so that's good. So, yeah. So we can get back out of that there. And it's got a calculator on it. interesting anyway you got a video recorder so I guess you could hook an external camera on it um, and then character map I guess you can change the key functions here got a media player well, let's check that out There are no MCI device drivers installed on your system. Okay, well, I guess that's all the further we're going to get on that. So yeah, guys, so it does work. Like I said, you know, one can play around with it here for many, many hours, but you know, like I said, this uh, computer is very old and I'm sure she needs to be recapped, but I'm not going to be doing that um, for any time soon. And who knows what I will do with this machine, but it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm going to have to do a little research and, and see what the collectability is on these, this uh, particular uh, manufacturer twin head. This notebook. And, uh, yeah, but she works pretty good. And, uh, so, yeah. So, um, and you can hear it. It stops there. And it when you roll the trackball it makes noise you can actually turn a noise off on it too and it's got a sound recorder too so if you put like a oh that's interesting uh. <laughs> um, 
you can do like a sound recorder on it. You can put like a microphone on it. So yeah, you can do all kinds of things with it there. So let's uh, go here and we'll go ahead and we'll exit windows here. And like I said, I'm getting used to this uh, trackball here. And then of course the hard disk spins up again. So yeah, it seems to work pretty good. Get a little, little screen uh, flicker there. That screen doesn't look that blotchy in person, but uh, you know, it's an old screen. Like I said, it needs a little cleaning. But, yeah, so I think this uh, little find works pretty good. I also found another computer too. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. It's a lot newer than this one, but it's an old one. And, uh, but I don't have a power adapter for it. So I got in a way of testing it to see if it even powers up. So um, hopefully I got another day of this estate sale. If I find a power adapter for that, that'd be great. Otherwise I'm gonna have to buy one for it and, uh, and see if it works. But yeah, guys, so um, I hope you like this video. Um, and it goes to sleep too, see, just like it's supposed to. When you don't use it for very long, the, it goes into power save mode there. But we'll go ahead and turn this power off here on it. So she's shut down for the day here. We'll just go ahead and close this here. And it latches really good there. And uh, we'll unplug it. So yeah, so uh, anyway, this is the uh, twin head and uh it's a nice little little notebook here and it's the uh 486e and uh yeah seems to work like i said i don't want to play with it too long because it's on borrowed time for sure but anyway guys um i hope you like the video here like i said it was a pretty good find uh in the case and everything like i said did not expect to find this at all and Ian, another surprise that even even powered up. So anyway, um, there will be more coming up soon. And I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. Like this video. Thumbs up. Uh, also, uh, please uh, subscribe. And click the little bell to get reminders when new videos come up. And uh, But other than that, guys, um, you guys have a great weekend. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.